Loading snacks. What's going on, everybody? Your boy Sin here at BlurCon 2023. BlurCon! Yes, and as we like to do, we walk the floor and see what is interesting to us. And I found something to start the day off with, so please, man, introduce yourself to everybody. Hello, everyone. I am Andrea Rose Washington, and I am a sci-fi fantasy author. Okay, Andrea, yes. what do we got going on here? I see we have space sci-fi book over here. I see some ancient magic and the crowns and stuff over here. What do we got going on in the table? So we have my fantasy side. And then we have my sci-fi side. Ah. So I'll start with the fantasy since I'm already over here. This one is my standalone. It is called Adlethea. It is about Sasha and her best friend. They're on the run from a magical hit squad when a generational secret from her family's past comes back to life. Only problem is Sasha doesn't know the secret. She doesn't know who knows it, so she doesn't know who she can trust. Okay, you have your magical hit squad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then my standalone. So if you get that one, it's the entire story. Okay. This is Ametri's Magic. It is about Olivia London. She's an unbound magical in DC. The owner of the shop where she works is murdered by a cult, and she's thrown into the coven system. She wants nothing to do with to get to the bottom of it all. So there's one more in this one. So it's not done yet, but it's almost there. Had me in London with that one. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Alright, what about this one? This is a Lindo book one and book two. It is about Abriana. She finds herself on an alien planet in the middle of the intergalactic war. All because the mother who she thought abandoned her was really a general in the alien army. So now she's to work with the Seven Prince to find her way out of it. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer lean to sci-fi more or fantasy more? Which is your favorite? Oh, that's such a hard question. <laughs> I um, I don't have an answer. I'm so sorry. Only because I, it, it depends on the mood that I'm in. There's some times where all I can consume is fantasy, and so for maybe for like six months, I only want to read and listen to fantasy and watch fantasy, and then it'll be flipped. So it all depends on my mood. So you know. <laughs> How long do we have to wait until the next book of this one? I am, fingers crossed, everyone pray for me because I'm trying to get it done before New York Comic Con. Um, the story is almost done. Um, I, had, I had it complete, but then I realized it was a plot hole. You can't publish a plot hole, so you have to fix it. So there's a reason why people are waiting, but I'm hoping to have it done or at least pre ordered by New York Comic Con. How many total books is this one going to be? I'm hoping for maybe two. And then okay. there'll be a little surprise, but I can't give too much out. Okay, yeah, you gotta keep some guys. Yeah, she's only secret. And what about this one? How many more? There is one more in this series. One more? Yes. Okay. Is there another genre you would like to tackle outside of fantasy or space uh, opera? Maybe? maybe mystery. There is like a murder mystery, the actual murder mystery that I really want to do. But I'm just trying to still figure out who actually did it because it keeps changing every day. Ah, <laughs> okay. Dope. I like all of this. So, but what I wanted you to do is if they're not here at BlurCon, where can they find you online to pick up one of your books and follow your journey? So, if you go to my website, it is arwbooks.com. Um, you can order anything that you see here from there, and then I send everything signed. So, if you want a, if you want a signature, you can get it from there. Otherwise, I'm available on Amazon. Um, also on Audible. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. I really like what you got going on here. Uh, BlurCon, day one, first interview. We got plenty more to do, so until then, catch you later. What's going on, everybody? Did you enjoy what you saw? Of course you did. So if you want to help us out and support us, here's what you can do. On whatever platform you're currently streaming us on, just like, share, and subscribe. Then head over to patreon.com forward slash Lonely Snacks and become one of our patrons there.